hey everyone so as promised there is the video about the uh, essential mostly asked coding questions so basically these coding questions were asked yesterday that is the may 2nd and it was in the third slot so this is one of the coding questions that have been asked in essential i'm going to show you the questions explain the solution and show the code as well so make sure to watch the video and share it with your friends and also i will post the uh, aptitude and technical mcq questions video very soon today only so make sure to check that also and let's start the video and see the questions but before moving on if you are new to the channel make sure to click on the subscribe button join our telegram and whatsapp channels from the description box link and also make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing because we post multiple hiring onboarding interview and industry updates every day regularly make sure not to miss out and also yesterday i have posted a video regarding essential that what mistake you should not make because if you are making this mistake then even though you are performing very well you are not going to get your opportunity in essential so check that video as well i'll give all the links in the description box and also in the i button so this is the question that have been asked in essential yesterday that is the second may third slot this was the question along with that also one more question was there but that was a very easy question so i'm going to give you the solution of this one because these were the moderate level coding questions you can say so first let's see and read what is the question question is that given array of integers so there will be a array of integers given and you have to write a program to sort the elements so the sorting of an array of integers is very easy but there is a twist in the question so let's read the whole questions you have to write a program that will sort the elements of the array but how they will sort in such a way that all the even elements will appear in the first okay so all the even elements of the array will come to the front of the array and followed by the odd elements so all the odd elements will come just after the even elements of the array okay so first there will be even elements only then from up when the all even elements completed then the odd elements will start okay so that's how we'll have to short it and still there is one more twist that they should maintain their relative order so what do you mean by relative order so by seeing an input and output you can understand okay so first of all understood that you have to sort uh, array in such a way that even elements will come first odd elements will come after that and they will maintain their relative order now let's see the input is going to be 10 that is the number of elements and then there will be 10 numbers for the array elements okay so this is the input pattern so see there are elements 12 34 45 9 all these elements are there so if i am uh, if i am saying that all the even elements should be coming in the first so how it will be so it should be 12, uh, 34, 96, uh, 8 like that. No, it should have a relative order maintained. So whatever number will come first, it will be in first of the array and maintaining that even and odd pattern what they have mentioned. So first, first all the even numbers will be there. So first let's see all the even numbers is going to be uh, 12 and what are the other even numbers? 34 is also going to be even number and 8 is also an even number then 90 is also an even number and finally 6 is going to be even number so if we are putting all the even numbers at the front of the array not changing or maintaining their relative order it will be 12 34 8 96 these five elements will be the first elements of the array in that following order that is first will be 12 then 34 then 8 then 90 then 6 so in the output you can see 12 34 8 19 6 this is the relative order is maintained then the following will be what following will be odd numbers and they will also maintain the relative order so first 45 then 9 then 3 1 7 so similarly 45 9 3 1 7 so they are maintaining their relative order here as well so that is going to be output now let's see the code and how we can solve it so this is the code first of all we have to take the input of the number of elements so this uh, n is going to be the variable which will store number of array elements okay so this will store number of array elements and then we will take input of the array elements we will declare first two arrays in this array we will store the elements and we will take input and in this answer array we will store the output okay so now we will take input of the array elements now we will do what we will take input of the array elements so first we will use for loops for this 
and in the for loop we will be traversing from i equals to 0 less than n that is the number of elements and we will just use c in array of i so it will store all the elements in the array so now array elements input taking is done now, till here we were just taking the inputs now it's done and now we will use our methods or our coding for sorting the array such that even numbers will be in the front then there will be odd numbers followed by that and they will also maintain their relative order so first of all main thing is going to be what even numbers will come first so we will have uh, we, so we will use a count variable here to uh, track how many elements have already inserted in the array am i using that for the second for loop when we are going to check the odd number so first let's see first of all this for loop is going to be for traversing from uh, the first element to the last element of the array so we are traversing from all the elements in the array and one by one we are traversing from the start to the beginning so the relative order will be maintained okay because we are starting from the first element and going slowly to the last element and first we need to do what we need to check if the element is even or not because only even elements will come first so now we, we are checking if area of i percentage 2 equals to equals to 0 this logic will just check even or not okay they will only find even numbers so if it is even then we will do what we will insert the element into our answer array in which position in the position what where our count element is okay so first of all the count is initially zero so first it will increase first it will uh, insert the array element that is the even number that comes first in the first value okay in the first element of the answer array and then it will increase the count so count plus plus will increase the count value so it will then go to the next pointer and then the next value will be stored in the second position then the next value will be stored in the third position like that okay so after this for loop is done all the even numbers are sorted okay so now all the even numbers are sorted in the uh, answer array according to their relative uh, position okay they have no change in the relative position has been done now we have to do the same thing with odd numbers okay we have to do the same thing with odd numbers so the odd numbers also get stored in the relative positions after the even number so similarly we have used this for loop again and we have used the same logic but this time in the if we have used array of y percentage to not equals to zero because for even number finding this is the logic okay sorry for odd number this is the logic so it will check if the number is odd or not and then it will insert it in the answer array in the position that is uh, the count value so count value here already have been uh, stored all the even numbers and now whatever the count of even numbers is the odd numbers will start after that okay so similarly we, that's why we are using the count value here so that there is no issue in uh, and no number got missed so that's why we have used this and after these uh, two lines or after these two for loops our all the uh, elements are stored in the answer array just how the question asked us and then this for loop the final for loop will just be giving us the output okay so that's it if you have any queries regarding this code you can ask us in our telegram groups also or in our comment section also and make sure to click on the subscribe button